<laughs> why, hello? Like what you hear? It's alright, I don't bite. Um, where are you going? Don't go, wait. Mm. Oh, I'm just looking at the moment. I'm hoping to commission a bouquet. I need an arrangement that translates to friendliness, charm, something to woo someone over. What would you recommend? Uh, unless your prices demand gold bars, of course I can afford it. Bards aren't some hooligans. But that means you recognize me. Oh, come on. It's hard not to notice a character as charming as myself. Hmm, perhaps that's why you seem so familiar to me. No, no, I'm sure of it. Mm, well, obviously that means I've seen you at the tavern. I'd never forget a cutie like you. Ah, you are this standoffish individual. He's coming back to me. You always roll your eyes when I catch you staring at me. Don't deny it. You are regarded as one of the most friendly shopkeepers. But you seem to treat me differently. I could draw the conclusion that you despise me. But considering how frequently you visit and the things I read on your face right now, I think the opposite's true. Don't worry, I've been keeping my eye on you too. No need to drive me away. I am a paying customer after all. How organized. You have a book full of your flower choices. Oh, come on, we can look through it together. Just get a little closer to me. Hmm, I don't see what I'm looking for. It looks something like this. <laughs> you dropped it when you ran off. I was worried I wouldn't find out who was eavesdropping me, but once I saw this particular flower, I knew it was you. Your shop is the only one that sells these, the rarest type in the land. Is it true that most of your profits come from selling these? Well, that makes sense. They are beautiful. It's like they radiate this confident, bright aura. But they also thrive in frigid environments, don't they? Hot and cold. Kind of like you, huh? He's relaxing in the forest so wrong. I usually get a stroll to get some inspiration. But I admit I had an ulterior motive this morning. No, no, I never tried to steal your secrets. I usually see you walk out the gates during that time of day, and I was hoping to run into you. <laughs> but it seems I only scared you off. I thought you got out closer because it was me, but now I realize how you probably just wanted to keep your secrets from the public. You've been doing a great job, by the way. No one knows how you managed to find these. Whoa, really? I thought they were impossible to domesticate. You must be really good at what you do. But I went down to that specific part of the forest just to finally talk to you. Mm, I suppose it would be silly to give a bouquet back to a florist you commissioned. Here, you can have this back. Really? Thank you. I would treasure it forever. I knew you liked my performance. Say, why don't you come to the tavern tonight? I got some great inspiration from our encounter. Wonderful. I'll see you there. <sighs> so, what did you think? By the blushing mass on your face, I think I have my answer. But I want to hear it from you. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. 
I don't typically write sappy love songs. I've never had anyone to write them about until I met you. Of course, I want to properly talk to you first before performing something like this. Partially because I'm a little embarrassed. But I want to make sure you know it's dedicated to you. No one else knows who I was referring to. So, it's a secret between the two of us. Of course I think all of those things about you. I will repeat it as many times as you need to hear it. I think you're brilliant and sincere and intelligent. <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. But I'm glad I don't have to remain as your secret admirer. I had to refrain from her feelings gushing out all at once. Mm, don't you want to stay for a drink? It's pretty late, I don't think we should wander off. Oh, I see. Is this your way of asking me out? To that, I happily oblige. <laughs> Huh? No, of course I don't want to get lost. I have nothing against holding your hand. I just didn't think that you would be so straightforward. <laughs> alright, alright, I'm coming. We are a good distance from the gates. Don't you think we should stop? I know I'm good, but... I doubt any bard could charm an angry bear if need be. Okay, now you're really asking for trouble. I admire you for being so daring, but going inside a dark cave is a little too much, don't you think? No, don't pull away the vines. What if there's something in there? Fine, if you say so. Huh? These... These are the flowers. Your flowers. This is where you grow them? But how could you fill such a vast cave with these? This is genius. It's cold, but with the giant hole in the ceiling you are able to get some sunlight. There is even a little irrigation system. A small creek in between each patch of flowers. Did you do this all by yourself? That's amazing. You are truly something. I promise not to tell a soul. I understand why you kept this a secret. You wouldn't want to decrease the price of these, especially since they are your pride and joy. <laughs> sure, I'm tired, but I don't want to ruin your work by sitting. Are you sure? Alright. I could definitely get some inspiration from mere seconds of being in here. The moonlight trickling in, the smell of moist dirt, and the soft breeze swaying the leaves. Thank you so much for showing me this. You must really like me, huh? I'm glad the feeling is mutual. No, oh, come on, don't get all embarrassed. It's cute. <laughs> Finally. Believe me, I've been wanting this for a while. You are really filled with surprises, aren't you? Even if you were acting so reserved, I couldn't help but be intrigued. I'm glad curiosity got the best of me. Because now... I've got the rarest type of flower all to myself.